Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to day three of Vlogmas. I hope that you enjoyed the little morning routine, kind of the behind the scenes that leads up to this moment right here, getting up, getting ready for the day, and that is how I get my day started. I hope that y'all enjoyed that. I think the first thing on my agenda today is it is nearly 11 o'clock and I need to go run some errands. So I'm about to throw some leashes on the pups and take them on a nice little walk. I hope that you guys enjoy Vlogmas Day 3. Let's get started. Hey guys, do you want to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk, little puppuccinos? Cooper wants to go on a walk. Trying to walk about a mile this morning, run some energy out of them before I go and run some errands. Cooper obviously still has a lot of energy to get out. <laughs> Are y'all tired, guys? Are y'all tired? According to my watch, we walked just a smidge over a mile in about 20 minutes or so. Hopefully, y'all take a nap while I leave and go run some errands. <laughs> Coop's tired. Dogs are walked and I'm getting ready to head out the door and run some errands. But all of a sudden it hit me that I am like ravenously hungry. Like I feel like sick to my stomach. I am so hungry and like an instant it happened. So I just looked in my freezer and I had one of these Jimmy Dean Delight egg witches in there. So I'm about to heat this up in the microwave, throw it in the toaster oven and eat this because I am desperate for something in my belly right now. I always throw things like this into my toaster oven because it makes them taste better when they're not like mushy and soggy. So got it toasted on both sides and now I'm gonna let it cool off and dig in. It looks pretty good though, I'm not gonna lie. Are you tired little baby? Did that walk wear you out? You only got your booty in the dog bed. You tired, bud. First stop on the agenda is making a return at Rue 21. Next up, I am running into Office Max to buy some very expensive printer ink because since I am out of blue ink, my printer will not let me print anything, even black. It has to have blue ink for my printer to print. Basically just a gimmick to make you buy more ink. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I am the absolute worst and always forget that I uh, have a P.O. box. So I just went and checked it and I had a couple letters in there. So we will open those when I get home here in just a little while. My final stop I'm going to make is Walmart. I need to run in and grab a couple things for dinner. I just got home from running all of my errands and as y'all saw, my last stop was Walmart. So I thought I would show you what I picked up. I got these Mission Carb Balance Tortillas. They have three grams net carbs. And Cooper thinks that this is for him because he is currently climbing up my leg. But these are not for him. Sorry, bud. I got a Caesar salad to go with dinner tonight. I got this little sandwich kit. It's got salami and uncured pepperoni in it. I think I may make some like Italian wraps with these little tortillas I bought 
I got some fully cooked bacon so I can use that in a recipe, some almond flour, some queso fresco because I've been wanting to fry up some of this lately because it is so good. I got a bag of mozzarella cheese, a pie pan because I want to make a crustless quiche tomorrow and I don't think I have a pie pan or I might. I have really no idea. And then I grabbed a thing of eggs and then I got these large flour tortillas because there's a recipe I want to try for Cody to have for breakfast in the morning. They're called No Mess Breakfast Wraps. And I thought it would be something good for him to eat before work. So, ooh, I almost knocked all my medicine into the trash can. But yeah, I thought that'd be a fun recipe to try out for Cody. Do you think Cooper's ready for his lunch? Ooh, you ready for it? Ooh, look at that jump. Jump for it. You're just freaking adorable. Oh my golly. There's your lunch. Hey, I know you're jealous. Do you want something? What do you want? What could I give you as a treat? Here, I know what I can give you. Come here. You can go chew this bow. There you go. There's your treat. Okay, so I really want to try making one of these breakfast wraps. They are super simple to make, and I got this idea from my friend Cami. Her YouTube channel is Cami Cakes, and she does cooking videos. This is unfortunately not low carb or keto, and I'm determined to make it that way, but today it is not gonna be the keto version. I'm going to throw this together, show you how it's made, because, I mean, it's like four ingredients, I think. A tortilla, some lunch meat, or whatever kind of meat you want, some cheese, and an egg. Four ingredients. Let's do it. All right, the first thing you're going to do is lay out a sheet of aluminum foil. I have one of these burrito-sized flour tortillas that I'm going to lay out on the aluminum foil, like so. Now I'm gonna take some ham that Cody bought and lay it in the center of my tortilla. Girl, I'm taking you use my ham. I'm using your ham, boy. I'm trying to make you some breakfast. You're gonna have to lean down. She's, she's lost her mind. Help me. Cody? Catherine? All right, let's try this. So I'm gonna add four slices of four. ham. Four! Do you want more or less? Using up all Cody's ham. And now I'm going to take some shredded sharp cheddar cheese and make a little cheese mountain in the middle, like so. In the middle of that cheese, you're gonna take your fingers and kind of make like a little indention, like so. And now you're gonna crack one egg right into the center of your cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle on some salt and a little pepper. Now we're gonna fold this sucker up like this, and then like this. So, let's see, will it work, will it work? Okay, like that. So fold it over like so, and then you just apparently take your aluminum foil and fold that sucker up, keeping it closed. Fold her up, fold her up. And then you just pop this sucker in a 375 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And your egg is cooked, your wrap is warm. And we're gonna see what happens. Let's try this, I'm excited. Give me some ideas for some low carb tortillas that I could make this with. Maybe, hmm, I don't know, let's try this. It has now been about 25 minutes at 370 to 375 degrees, somewhere in that range. And here is our little wrap. Oh, very fancy. Let's cut it open and see what it looks like in the middle. Ooh, that yolk is definitely really runny. So if you make this and you like your yolks a little bit more cooked, I would definitely cook it for longer than 25 minutes. But I bet Cody would love this. I'm gonna take it to him and make him try it. All right, Cody, let's get a taste test. How is it? Is it pretty good? Mm-hmm. Would you eat it for breakfast? Mm-hmm. Should I make it for you again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're not lying, are you? Nope. Well, that was a big bite. I believe him. For the past hour, hour and a half, I have been looking at a million different flights online, and my head is about to explode. 
I'm currently booking flights for two different trips in December. I'm flying home after Christmas, but I'm flying into Houston and then I have to fly home from San Antonio. So just got those booked. Now I need to book one more round trip ticket and I'm trying to find the best deal and it's all expensive. Flights are so freaking expensive, y'all. So expensive. I have been working on booking flights for what seems like hours, but I am going to be a busy, busy gal this December. So I hope that y'all are ready for an exciting Vlogmas. I have three different trips I am going on. And yeah, I'm going to be very busy. This is all straightened out and I'm very excited about it. I'll tell you more about the trips as they get closer. I had planned on going all out on dinner tonight. I was gonna make a fathead dough pepperoni pizza, a nice salad. Well, time got the best of me when I was booking travel arrangements and doing some stuff on my computer. And so I told Cody, we are going to fend for ourselves tonight. I think he's going to make himself a sandwich. And I'm going to make a knockoff fathead dough pepperoni pizza and make a pizza on one of those low carb tortillas that I bought earlier. Here's how to make a super easy low carb tortilla pizza. You're going to need a low carb tortilla. Throw that on a little cookie sheet, but since I am using my toaster oven, I am just using the little pan that fits inside there. I'm going to do a little scoop of some pizza sauce. This is just the lowest carb one I could find at the grocery store. Now sprinkle on a little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese. And lastly, just slap on a couple pepperonis. Now pop this in your oven until the cheese is melted. After about four to five minutes in the toaster oven, my little tortilla pizza is ready and it looks pretty darn delicious. To go with my pizza, I made this little salad. It's definitely a sad little salad, but it'll do the trick. So I just have some lettuce in here. I added some slivered almonds in there. And then I added a couple of these crispy jalapenos. So these only have three grams of carbs in a tablespoon. So I just added a couple of those for some crunch. And then I just used some of this Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch. I love this dressing. It's really good. So yeah, that is going to be my dinner tonight. Pizza and a salad. Well, I got this box in the mail the other day. And Cooper just likes to sit on top of it. I keep coming in here and he's just sitting on top of the box. Little weirdo. He is a little weirdo. It is currently 12.21 a.m. It is the middle of the night. So I have been on the phone with American Airlines making changes to my flights I have already looked at for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours tonight. But thankfully, all is well now. But I don't want to look at flights. I don't want to think about flights. I don't want to talk about flights for like the next six months. <laughs> Anyways, though, I think I need to go to bed before I completely lose my sanity. So I hope that you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 3. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all tomorrow with another vlog. Bye, guys. Mwah!